Hello, hello, it's Josie and Baby Nico, and welcome to my channel. We're about five seconds into the video, and if you haven't noticed, my nails are two different colors. Don't pay attention to that. I'm going to be talking about the techniques I use to get my baby to talk back to me and to dance, and sometimes it seems like he's trying to sing along when we're playing music or playing the guitar. So I want to talk about how music can really help a baby learn and grow their cognitive skills and their motor development. It's all pretty simple, all pretty basic stuff. So Nico's three years old and he's actually pretty advanced for his age. I said the same thing with my daughter when she was a baby. Um, I said that she actually said the word mom and she said it in the hospital. She had to stay in the NICU because she had like a lung infection or something or there was like a, an infection starting in her lungs so we had to stay there and put her on antibiotics for seven days and so while we were there she said mom like really loud and all of the the nurses turned around and were like amazed they were like oh my god it sounded like she said mom like clear as day and I believe that she did say mom it wasn't by accident because like when she was in my stomach we literally practiced mom and mama every day we would practice saying mom all the time and I know that sounds crazy like how do you teach an unborn baby how to say mom but it's basically just holding your stomach and talking to them and you know say mama say mom you know like we're practicing now for when you get out and the same thing with him um, I did the same thing I would practice mom and mama and just simple words like hi a lot of the time he, it sounds like he's saying hi back to me, like, or at least he's trying, you know, and it's not, I mean, it's probably uncommon for, you know, three month olds to try to talk back to you. He started, you know, like making noises and trying to talk, it seems like around two months. I think I just got some footage of him <sighs> trying to say hi or talking back to me. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. 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 <laughs> Hi. Mommy. <laughs> Basically, like I said, it's pretty simple how you, you know, teach your baby to talk back to you or interact with you and, you know, make noises or cooing sounds back to you. You just talk to them. I'll lay him down in front of me or sit him in front of me and we'll just sit there kind of like, you know, teacher and student. I'll just repeat the word over and over again to him. I'll say hi and you just do it like every five seconds you'll repeat that word over and over until you start to hear them make noises back and then what you want to do is when they do start talking back or they're making those cooing sounds or trying to mimic you you let them talk like don't talk over them you want to let them reply to you because that teaches communication skills it teaches them interaction just by giving them that chance to answer back so ever since he was about two months old, I would just like turn music on and just stand him up on his feet and just kind of like move him along to the beat. Eventually he would start kicking his legs and then it seems like he will kick his legs to the beat and I don't want to say he's doing it on an accident like I want to believe that my baby is just like the smartest baby ever <laughs> and I do. You guys are so smart. <laughs> It actually teaches them really good cognitive and motor skills to like have them dance along to the beat. They'll slowly over time like understand that when they're doing that movement on beat and they're hearing the music, they are learning how to dance just by you making those movements for them on beat. Never miss a beat. <laughs> to play guitar and he's still learning how to play guitar. He's no Jimi Hendrix yet but 
He's getting there. <laughs> actual studies done that say that Mozart's actually like help speed up brain development in infants and babies. Playing Mozart's for them at least you know like 15 minutes out of the day which when we're in the car a lot of the times I'll play Mozart's for him and it usually just puts him to sleep but I I see how active he gets like anytime we're playing any music at all. We listen to all sorts of music in this household. We're not like a one genre type of family. We love like we love it all from rap to country to hip hop to EDM to Mozart's. <laughs> we listen to it all. So and I think that's really important too to just have like diversity in, in the things that you teach your kids, you know, when it comes to music or Anything that they're putting in their brains or learning, like even the TV shows that they watch, even if it's fictional, you know, just positive things that you can learn from. It doesn't matter how young a baby is, they can learn, you can teach them. You can teach them things from day one. And I do believe that talking to the baby in the womb, talking to my kids in the womb really helps them, help them develop those motor skills and that's probably why my daughter has always loved to dance. She's four years old now and she's just a total dancer. My stepdaughter Chloe, she loves to dance. I think she gets that from her dad, like just having his DNA, that's why she's so into music and so into dance. I wanted to talk a little bit about his culture and his heritage. Uh, my husband is Mian. I'll explain a little bit about the culture and the way they dress. Hi! <laughs> So the hat that he's wearing right now, it's a traditional Mian hat, and there's actually kind of like a folk tale that goes along to the hat. There's a story that goes with the hat. So in traditional Mian culture, the parents have the children wear these hats, and they sew these little red balls on the hats because it's supposed to repel bad spirits or evil spirits because the spirit will fly over the child and they'll look down and they'll think it's a flower because of the red balls. They think that the balls are a flower and so they just like, you know, go on with their day or they'll move along and they'll leave the child alone. They will sew silver onto the hats and that's also kind of like a protection thing or it's kind of to just show that, um, like, wealth in the family, you know, how much silver you have sewn on the clothes. And the women's clothing, oh my god, it's so beautiful. They have all of this, like, dangling silver that makes, like, beautiful noise when you walk. And, like, it just looks so rich and so expensive. So cool. It's, like, so rich. Just so rich. Yeah, honey. Yeah, honey. Hey! I don't know, so maybe it's a mean thing, like having all that silver all over their clothes just dangling when they walk. It's like instilled in their DNA to be like musically inclined. I don't know. 
<laughs> Mama sounds crazy, huh? Mm -hmm. There he goes. There he goes. Are you jumping? Are you jumping? Are you jumping? So that's how we incorporate music into teaching our kids motor skills and dancing, singing, playing, and just talking to them regularly really does make a big difference at this age, even though it's only three months. He's only three months. Um, at any age, you know, from day one, from birth, you can start talking to them. I do believe that he'll start talking, you know, pretty fast, just like my daughter did, because I did the same thing with her. I talked with her for, since day one, all the time, you'd have little conversations, and I really do think it works. So if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe, or you can hit the notification bell in the corner. Or for more content like this, you can go ahead and like this video. What are you looking at over there? <laughs> Thanks for watching.